Welcome everybody again to another exciting edition of The Kirsch Life. I'm Chris. I'm Brenda. I'm Aubrey. It might be a little bit cold, it might be a little bit rainy, it might be a little bit windy, but that is not stopping us from having another exciting adventure this week. Now, those of you guys who have seen some of our other videos know that we are a very short drive away from one of the oldest and best national parks in the country. That park, of course, is Yellowstone. Yellowstone. So we are headed to Yellowstone National Park. We're about an hour, hour and a half drive away from there. So we can make it to a quick day trip. We can see some of the exciting things and some of the famous places uh, and landmarks that Yellowstone has to offer. So we'll see some uh, uh, Old Faithful. We'll see some of the, uh, the, uh, uh, the hot pots and the hot pools and just some of the beautiful things that Yellowstone has to offer. Uh, we've got our warm drinks to keep us warm and toasty, and we're ready for our next adventure. Come follow us. So we finally made it into Yellowstone without any real problems. There wasn't any real lines or anything. The park is kind of just barely open, so there's not a whole lot of people here. Plus, it's kind of not the best weather. We're going to go to Canyon Village first. Canyon Village. So, and what's in Canyon Village? Um, they have a store there with a little soda fountain uh, with like old-fashioned malts and hamburgers and stuff. We figured they're for lunch. All right. So our first stop is lunch. I've said it a few times and I'm gonna say it again one of the great things that I love about Yellowstone coming here is just just all this great scenery that you see around us and it seems that every time I come to Yellowstone there's something new something I haven't seen before um, but look at this I mean this is just awesome And you know what the best part of this is is that no cell service in most of these places so you can really unplug you can really enjoy without having to have you know being concerned about anything else about the world you get to actually enjoy the world so wow so one of the other really great things about Yellowstone is just all of the all the really great natural waterfalls they have here this is Gibbons waterfalls not one of the biggest ones but still Still pretty cool. So yeah, given right there. Awesome. So we're here at Canyon Village here in Yellowstone. Now here for a quick bite to eat. Now normally, I mean you can kind of see right here, it's kind of got like that 50s uh, uh, diner vibe, but because of the current uh, epidemic and things that are going on they can't really maintain that social distancing and things like that so the seats have all been kind of removed um, but still uh, really great food um, so we ordered a few cheeseburgers the, the whole gift shop and everything here is kind of cool it's very updated with a little bit of uh, um, retro retro kind of things going on so we're here for some lunch here at Canyon Village come check it out so not quite the dining experience that we were hoping for inside with all the nostalgia and everything so but we still got some good food Brenda what did you get? A 
bacon cheeseburger oh, with some french fries. Bacon cheeseburger. cheeseburger. What'd you get? I got uh, burger sliders. Burger sliders. And I also got the bacon cheeseburger. Well, now, what do you do when you when you hear that there's a grizzly bear? Well, you don't get out of your car, but that's not what some of these people do. So, you've got people that saw that they saw a grizzly bear, and now they're getting out of their cars, and, and, oh, I see it, no, that's a tree, sorry. It's cool, but don't get out of your car. You can experience wildlife and f film or f uh, f photo w wildlife, Without being a moron about it. Safe distance. Safe distance. <laughs>
definitely Old Faithful on that one. Almost 90 minutes exactly. There was only a few hundred people here when it finally erupted, which really isn't how many, I mean, people here. There's actually quite a lot more people here. So if you come to Old Faithful, make sure you get here early. Seeing you at a good cedar, you'll be standing for, for a long time, but it's always cool. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun, but we are frozen. Frozen. I thought it was gonna be 45 minutes. It was close to about 90, 93 minutes before it finally erupted. Every time I come up here, ever since I was a kid, it always goes off, but it was good. Um, now, on we go. So it's Sunday evening, not a lot of places are open right now in West Yellowstone. They're still trying to open things up slowly, but there is one place that is open right now, Wild West Pizzeria and Saloon. They've got pizza, they've got pastas, they've got sandwiches. Um, I personally ordered, I got the uh, eight inch uh, pepperoni hamburger pizza with white sauce. Chicken parmesan. I got spaghetti. So it seems like a, a pretty, pretty, uh, uh, good local local place. We always like to uh, support local businesses, um, and it just seems pretty pretty good. So we ordered our food, and we're excited to get it back. Well, that kind of wraps up our time here at Yellowstone today. I mean, we only spend a day. We did quite a bit of stuff, but we didn't even begin to discover all that Yellowstone had to offer, not even the tip of the iceberg. There is so much that Yellowstone has to offer, and we will definitely have a chance to make a video where we're gonna spend a whole lot more time here at this park. It's really cool that we live so close to this park that we can just, on a whim, come here and just spend a day just exploring this park where there's some people that actually spend uh, saving for a long time to get here um, with their families and savings and all that stuff. So it's I, I think I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty grateful that we can just come here really whenever we want to. But today, you know, we we were able to see Old Faithful. Um, we experienced all kinds of different weather. Uh, we saw some animals. It was a fun day. It was a fun day. Um, I'm glad we had a chance to do it. Uh, once again, I'm Chris. I'm Aubrey. And thanks again for joining us in another uh, uh, adventure with the Kirsch Life. And remember that life is an adventure, so go do it. All right, goodbye.